Hi guys, welcome to The Cookie Painter. I'm Elaine and today I have another free cut um, cookie that I've done. It measures uh, three and a half inches wide fairly consistently and it's uh, five and a half inches on this side, slightly longer on this side. And what I wanted to do was paint a very small section of post on this side with an ornamental hook and a hanging basket of flowers. So I'm not too sure what brushes I'm going to use, but um, I've got my water out and my palettes and my uh, little eyedropper for my vodka that I put into um, different little holders to keep my brush damp. So. Um, <laughs> let's get going. I guess what I want to avoid is having a great big dense mess in the center of the cookie. Because some of the hanging baskets that you see, they have like a whole bunch of different flowers in it and there is kind of like some um, height and length to it with flowers um, draping down. So let's just see what happens. And I'm kind of nervous, but I'm using a flat brush. I've got purple on one corner and it's probably all dried out now. But what I wanted to, to try, not try, just what the heck, stop being a wiener. I want to do like some wave petunias. Well, that doesn't look like a petunia petal. Well, so what? Okay. So what I want to have is like the, the darker petals maybe hanging down. There's going to be lots of spinning today. It's a large cookie. My hand gets in the way. But I really like the hanging baskets that are just kind of like a whole mess of color and different variety of blossoms. Let's pick up. Did I already apologize for having to reach over the cookie so much today? It's just going to be the way it goes. So... I don't want to have like a lot of um, planning and stuff. I know that sounds dangerous and risky, but it is like a hanging basket that's been out for the summer, growing in all sorts of different um, directions and at different rates, the different flowers in the basket. So, if we can just get some uh, variety of colors, variety of shapes, and a small amount of foliage. Okay, I'm nervous with the, the purple. I want to stop with that actually. Just stop for now. And I always double rinse my brushes just in case the next color I pick up is going to be a lot lighter. Okay, now the other blossom that I like is the yellowish ones. How's that for an accurate name. Um, like little 
uh, carnation things. And they usually tend to like stand up and be like tall. They don't put too many of them in the baskets. This is a spotter brush and I'm just having it damp and then I want to just pick up different tones of color. I have no idea if this is going to work, you guys, but that's all right. Now I want to do some pink flowers. So I'll get my pink gel. And how about we use a larger brush or yeah this is this is fine this is fine maybe don't really want to overthink it And maybe some slightly I don't know what these are but it is it is pretty fun using a filbert brush you can get a bunch of different looking petal strokes and uh, the same brush can make things look pretty interesting. Um, so as I say, I want to avoid having like a great big mess of uh, of um, like density in the center of the cookie. Now, why don't we try using the script liner and just put in a little bit of, I want to have this like maybe a little bit lighter green Okay, so what do I want to do? Just have some foliage coming out. I'm draping down a little bit. I don't want it looking, end up looking like a hanging basket that hasn't been cared for all summer. <laughs> you know, but the leaf green does tend to be, okay, so why don't we add some, use the side of the script liner to add a few leaves like that just a little bit of density. See how everything is the same shade of green? I'll try to fix that later. Okay. That's too new for racking. 
now what colors oh how about we put in something with orange if I can get the orange um, sort of like dark enough to look different enough from the yellow I guess, you know, what we're going for is uh, just kind of like um, an impression. Dust Bunny, get out of here, please. that I wonder how oh you know what why don't we use um, why don't we look for a blue because some of the reds can be very difficult to use they can bleed like crazy. So when I use a red, I'm choosing almost a completely dry brush because I don't trust it. Let's put in this kind of like denim blue. Okay, getting there. Okay, you know what you guys, I think I should just leave it like that because it is kind of like making me nervous. I don't want to get too carried away. So how about I get some of the this is this little dust bunny there. Thank you. Um, how about I do some of the post and we're just going to do like a six by six upright. <laughs> So because it's going to be a 6x6, six six, the plan should be to have a nice line. <laughs> what are the chances are that's going to be possible? Okay, and then I... Uh, see, you're learning what a wiener I am. Okay. I'm not nearly as brave. If I was doing this for a customer, what you do is you have a ruler. You hold a ruler and, and you hold your brush and you go straight across so that you don't screw it up. Because this is obviously something that you're not gonna 
want to um, have to scrap and start again. Um, obviously you can tell that I blended black in with this brown and um, I think it's too dark. It's not really liking it. Oh, can't go that way. Let's start this side and go down. The post can have a little bit of texture to it and wrinkles if you're um, good at painting wood and you want to do that. It would look kind of neat. Okay, good enough for the post. Now, for the bracket. Um, every bracket will have like a hook at either end. So, and it doesn't matter how you hang it, okay? So, for example, some of the hooks, they're, they have the long, the long side here with a hook and the short side here with a hook. And some of them have, um, so some people hang them the other way where the hook is here, this is a short, and the long comes out with the hook. So it doesn't matter. People hang them either directions and because Maybe because of the top of the, the cookie. I'm trying to calculate what would be easiest for, <laughs> what would be easiest for me. Okay, so, so be brave. Now, it, one thing that you can do, which is, saves on the stress, is a lot of, okay, the cheap brackets, they'll be almost like angle iron, okay? Really ugly, straight, and stuff like that. But some of the old cast iron ones are all ornamental. So you don't have to worry about straight lines and all that kind of stuff. Some of the hooks, um, the, the brackets that you can buy are super cool. So what we're gonna do is I think I wanna have my hook like around here so I'm gonna have it out and then this is gonna so the long arm is gonna be on top and the short one on the bottom so what I want to do is give the brush to you and have you do the work You know, we can just like mess around and do something. Curly and pretty because that is going to be like a heck of a lot easier than worrying about straight lines and everything. My own hook that I've got has all these uh, flowers and leaves in it. It's super pretty. So basically just do whatever you like. The only thing that you are required to do is if you have a hook at this end, you got to have a hook at this end because every bracket can be hung either way, like I said. So let's get some length to the bracket here.
doesn't really matter what you do. But if you do a lousy job on your <laughs> on your hanging basket, you can make a really nice hook <laughs> to sort of like take away from the attention. Okay. This hook is so heavy against the against the beam it looks like you can use it to do your chin-ups, which is a little bit silly, so I guess I should just make the beam like a slightly thicker there. Um, okay, I know I said it didn't, it doesn't matter, but obviously it's kind of fun messing around with curvy lines and stuff like that. Okay, good enough. Now, We've got this and our lines down and then the basket isn't too close to the beam, which is exactly what I wanted. So what kind of hook do we want to do here? I want to do something. Oh, I wish I had a spare cookie because I could practice doing um, like the, a bit of a chain. So, okay, now let's go for a very, very, very pale um, gray. And I really wish that Wilton would make a gray, but they won't listen to just little old me. <laughs> so, uh, okay, this is like too fat. I don't want to use a spotter brush. Oh, but what I should do, you guys, just before I clean this off, just this one little. And these edges, if you're doing like a cast iron hook like this, it should look pretty, pretty clean. Okay. Now, I want to have a very pale... incredibly pale blackish sort of hook Is everybody holding their breath? Because I sure am. Okay, I think that's good enough. You just want to see a little bit of the chain so that anyone looking at the cookie sees that you haven't forgotten how your basket is hanging. Holy macaroni. Okay, that's good enough. 
Now, what we can do is, what did I use for the orange? I think I used the spotter brush. We can just fill in the basket, right? Flesh it out a little bit more. Um, you know what I really wish I really wish that I had taken flower arranging <laughs> when I was in my 20s and had all this free time I love the blue I should just put a little bit more orange over here. Not a lot. I don't want to saturate the cookie and I don't want to like have it too screwed up. I really like the blue. Double rinse on my brush. And just add maybe a little bit more blue in spots. Okay. Now, what can we do? To darken up the green just to sort of like have a little bit not a lot because I don't want to screw it up but something and if we look at our color wheel to sort of like tone down the green we're supposed to add orange just to like mute it a little bit Oh, that, that'll, that'll work. Can you see what that's done? It's just taken down the brightness a smidge of this leaf green. So if you want to um, kind of like tone down a color, look at your color wheel and add a little bit of the color that's opposite. So this leaf green is kind of brighter than I want it to be. So I just want to have a little bit of density and a little bit of darkness on the inside of the basket. So to um, take the brightness off the leaf green, I just picked up a tiny little bit of orange and put it in, put it in there. Okay. So this is this is good enough you guys. Cuz actually like I like the way it looks. Now what I want to do is just add a few more um, just a little bit of growth around the perimeter. Of the cookie. Okay. 
not much, but just a sort of I mean, it is a hanging basket after all. And because you know I'm a sucker for all this the lighter grasses, And see, no, we don't have to paint the basket at all, right? Yay! Because <laughs> you can't actually see it. Okay, see, it's important to stop before it turns into a great big mess. Maybe you're thinking, oh, too lady lane. It's already a great big mess. Okay. I like it. And all I want to do is put in some dark centers in for these flowers. And I was thinking, oh, I could try red, but I'm not going to. Maybe it's a rookie mistake having all the grasses kind of like end at the same spot. Okay, because I'm really enjoying your company, I want to try putting some red on this pink. I'm sure it's totally going to misbehave and cause some problems. But that has value too, because if it screws up and looks awful, then you're going to for your own painting you're going to be like oh yeah i remember when elaine did that and it didn't work okay i just want to don't panic don't panic I'm just going to pick up a little bit of liquid And just like blend those out a tiny, tiny little bit. Well, the brush is picking up the glaze, but that's okay. That is a okay. We're just adding a tiny little itty bitty bit of texture to our flowers. Well, I don't know if texture is the right word, but just some different depths. Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that because I think it's kind of neat. The post is okay. Uh, it's a little bit dark here, but that's fine. My uprights are very similar. Um, there could be more maybe... I don't know. I kind of like the different shades in the orange. There's some different shades in the... Um, the yellows, you can see a little bit of the chain here, the chain here, basket is hidden, and uh, ornamental hook to make it easy for ourselves. 
Well, I need to go lie down because I was exhausting. <laughs> um, thanks for your company, you guys. See you next time.